What's going on, my name's Jay, and today I'm gonna show you how to reverse your footage in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. A few weeks ago, I put out a video explaining how to film and edit frame blocking transitions. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it below. One of the tips I gave in that video was to film the second half of your transition in reverse if you were using autofocus. And then when you went into post, you could switch the direction of the clip and everything would look normal. And I just figured that my job wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you how to actually do that. So I have some clips queued up in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna show you how to reverse them. But first let's look at a couple different areas where you might want to use this tool other than frame blocking transitions. And there's a lot. For one, let's say you wanted to do a little bit of a rewind effect. You could use reverse footage, throw a little sound effect on there, speed it up, and you'd be good to go. I also see this a lot in movies, especially like explosions or something. Like they'll show the explosion and then they'll reverse everything so you can actually see how it got started, who started it, and all of that. Also, music videos use this a lot for switching the direction really quickly for, of people running or jumping or dancing or whatever. Basically reversing your footage is just a really awesome tool, not just for transitions, but just creative edits in general. All right, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you how to reverse your clips. All right, here we go. I've got a couple clips queued up in DaVinci Resolve, and this first one's basically going to remain untouched for a while. This is just the first half of a frame blocking transition of the front of my house going behind a tree. And you'll see that the second clip is of the playground in my backyard. And once again, we're blocking the frame at the end of the clip. And that's what we want to change. And reversing these clips is really easy, really quick. You just want to select the clip that you want to change. Go ahead and right click, hit retime controls, come down to this little drop down arrow where it says 100%, click on that and hit reverse segment. And now if we scrub through, We end the first clip blocking the frame and we start the second clip blocking the frame and it looks like everything was filmed in the right order. And now that that's done, let's just throw some speed ramping on there and now we have our good looking transition. By the way, if you want more tips and tricks on how to use DaVinci Resolve for your creative edits, I've got a playlist link right up there that you should definitely check out. And right down here, you'll see a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll talk to you in the next video.